Welcome to uh, another week in Cougar football here with head coach Matt Johnson and head coach Marty Hoffman. Uh, last week we played College of Saints Scholastica up in Duluth. Uh, long road trip for us, struggled a little bit offensively. Uh, you know, on the special team side of things, John Hoff again comes through with a field goal. Uh, can you talk a little bit about John and his work ethic and consistency? Yeah, John is, uh, you know, so far, you know, we've been, he, he's been doing a great job. You know, obviously putting points down on the board every time we've had him out there, so that's good. Um, you know, the part that I really like is he's gotten better on, on his kickoffs as well, which I think we're starting to see a transition in that and, 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 and again, being able to uh, get better field position for the defense. So, um, you know, John has, has, has done a great job. Any chance we get him out there, we're going to do it. I mean, any any time we get around that 30-yard line, that's, that's a points area for us, and we just – um, you know, need more opportunities down there, of course. So, um, yeah, John has 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 lived up to it so far. Uh, on the offensive side, Coach Johnson, yep. talk a little bit about uh, some things you need to share up coming into this week. Yeah, you know, big thing for us is is continuing to develop as an offense. You know, obviously from from what we do from a scheme perspective, we put a lot of <laughs> a lot of emphasis on quarterback play in terms of reads and making the 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 right decisions with the ball and we're continuing to develop there along with on our offensive line you know our protection still needs to improve you know in terms of total offensive output you know obviously we don't have enough points on the board but we had our second highest yards actually over the course of the season so we're making progressions in terms of the offense and what we're doing it's just a matter of continuing to develop that and grow as a group you know finding ways to get our playmakers the ball into their hands too um, schematically we've done a couple things this week where we're really going to try to get Taylor Hollum in the ball we're really going to make a conscious effort to establish that run game and, and use some different pieces in it, you know. Um, we're not at a point of desperation by any stretch of imagination, but we're at, we're at a situation where we want to try different personnels and get different people involved in the ball game and, and see where we can really get this thing going. So, again, we did some good things offensively. You know, we did limit our turnover. We had one really bad turnover. But short of that, you know, we were pretty good with the ball. Uh, we punched in when we were in the red zone. We did some things there, but uh, we just need to continue to grow and develop. Uh, Coach Hoffman, uh, Taylor Snow coming off an injury last year is back. He had two sacks against St. Stolastica. Uh, talk a little bit about what a difference it is to have him on the defensive side of the ball. And yeah, Snow, and, and you know we found something in the protection that we liked, and, and we're able to kind of uh, exploit that a little bit. Um, you know, and Taylor's done a great job. You know, this year he, he's he's obviously a uh, a little undersized guy, but he's physical. He's tough. Um, he's a very hard-nosed linebacker. Type, you know, he's a he's a prototypical backer. You know, and, and, and so he's been he's been doing a great job for us. You know, we've kind of relied on him a little bit, uh, been able to rotate Trent in and, and be able to keep Luna fresh as we can. Because sometimes we got to put him at D line. So I mean, we're kind of uh, mix and match. But Snow, I mean, really doesn't come off the field for us. You know, and so um, to be able to see him. From what happened last year to him, I think is is as a coach, it's very gratifying. It's very satisfying to see him have the type of season he's having so far. Now, of course, we continually want the same as we go forward here. Uh, going into this week, it's it's homecoming here at Morris. Uh, you know, usually the biggest crowd of the year. Both you guys have been involved in over ten homecomings here at Morris. Uh, can each of you touch on maybe one special memory you've had of of your time here at Morris and homecoming? Yeah, I guess. I mean, Your first. yeah, I'll go for it. Um, our conference championship year was a really special one for us because, you know, we had coming off some of uh, some down years, you know, to come in and win a big cat. But anytime you're able to play in front of our crowd, you know, we try to we try to do as much as we can from a football perspective, but from a crowd perspective, atmospheric pr perspective to really have a, a good experience, too. Um, this year, we're, we're going with blackout jerseys again, you know, so the guys each got ordered jerseys with their names on it. So we're not the traditional maroon and gold, but... Uh, really added to that atmosphere that we had last year when we won at homecoming too. So it's hard to pick out one for me, but but playing in front of that crowd and, and having our guys, and we talked about it the other day, having the opportunity to come and sing the rouser in front of a great crowd. You know, we'll have 1,400, 1,500 people here Saturday night, and that's a big deal for us. That's a good-looking crowd, so uh, we're excited about that opportunity. Yeah, I mean, last year uh, I think it was a, a, a very special homecoming, I, I, I think. You know, again, from my perspective, defense we've certainly played well. That always helps and makes it more memorable. Um, you know, and then again, seeing uh, uh, again just the atmosphere of it—the black jerseys at night in the night game. Um, you know, it was college football at its finest. You know, and so um, last year for me, certainly around here was was uh, was pretty special. Uh, rolling into uh, crown this week, uh, we'll start with special teams. Uh, Drew Shipley's leading the league and. 
in punting, and John Hoffman's or John Hoff is uh, one of the better place kickers in the league points wise. You feel like we have a pretty good uh, advantage in the special teams game going into the into the crown game. I do. Um, you know, our both from a Shipley standpoint and John, you know, we're well above their punters and kickers as well. Um, you know, they've their punters and kickers have, have kind of struggled as of you know this year. Um, so we hope and you know think that we can get some good field position with that uh, offsetting. Um, you know, and they've certainly been able to cover. I, I think. Regardless of how well we kick it or punt, we got to cover the thing, you know. And so, um, I think our guys have done, and we've, you know, with schematics, I think we've been able to kind of shore up a few things, and, and I think we'll be better, you know. And I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see that aspect of the game because I think we can absolutely um, win that side uh, or that part of the football game. Uh, Coach Johnson crowns defense last in the conference, but they have uh, Jeremiah Jones had 14 tackles. Uh, last week, is that someone that you look for and try to run away from, or is it kind of standard operating procedure? Yeah. For, for us, frankly, it's, it's pretty much standard operating. Uh, Jones is a great ball player. Um, they've got a lot of good pieces defensively. You know, they're they're similar to us in the fact that they're kind of young on that side of the ball. Um, so, you know, in terms of returners from last year, you know, there's there's some, some new pieces we're still getting used to. But in terms of scheme-wise, and, and Coach, you know this as well as anybody is, UMM and Crown match up versus each other really pretty well. You know, if you look over the 14-year history of us playing them, there's rare, rare that it's not a dogfight down to the end type game. You know, it's just personnel-wise and, and scheme-wise, it's always been that way. And it's the same thing this week. Offensively, we've had two great practices. Probably, no lie, probably our two best practices of the year offensively that, uh, yesterday and then on Tuesday. Um, in terms of the scheme and, and, and how we can – can match up with what they present to us. They play multiple, multiple different forms of coverage. You know, so is that something we, we've got to be aware of and got to be able to ID from a receiver and a quarterback standpoint? Um, and then their front, they don't really vary a whole lot, but again, the Jones being a prime <coughs> example of them, they've got some pieces that, that can play that we need to make sure we're aware of. But we're certainly not running away from anybody or scheming anyone that way. We're going to play our game. And Coach Hoffman, uh, or excuse me, Coach Hoffman, Crown offense. Uh, David McIntosh, 137 yards in the air last week, receiving second in the conference. Um, you know, we're second in the conference in pass defense. Talk a little bit how we match up against Carroll. Well, I, you know, obviously, uh, Mr. McIntosh is doing is having a great year. Um, you know, certainly aware of him, and certainly in, in, in the past game, know that that's kind of uh, uh, who they want to get the ball to. Uh, but make no mistake, you know, Coach Howard wants to run the football, and he's going to run power. They're going to run lead, you know, plays like that, try to create extra gaps and run the football. I mean, that's that's what we got to be stopping. And when we can get in those situations, we're going to get some third and longs, third and medium situations where maybe we can, you know, obviously get some pressure and certainly, um, you know, maybe cover up McIntosh, of course. Um, you know, that's what we got to be able to do. So the message all week, certainly preparing these guys for a physical game. Um, is probably the most physical team that we'll play as far as just a scheme standpoint. I mean, they want to run the ball. And, and, and they're going to put some big guys in personnel-wise, and they're going to try to, any way they can, take an advantage um, of it, whether it's on the edge or inside. Um, you know, they do a good job with that. So, and, and the officer quarterback has done a nice job, too. You know, they've been kind of in a dual system for a little bit here, and now they've kind of leaned more towards uh, uh, Taylor. So, um, you know, that, that part of it really doesn't matter. I mean, it's going to be the same. We're going to prepare the same way as we always would. Um, but certainly, uh, you know, it's going to be a good old-fashioned hard-nosed football game there's no question and then last but not least we played a night game already this year I believe this is Crown's first night game do you think that gives us an advantage in uh, preparation and and being ready to play yeah honestly probably not you know just because there's some experience with it you know the last couple, couple times we played Crown we've gone to night games last year we went to their place too um, so m maybe, you know, it's a little bit new for some of their guys, but all in all, again, Coach Howard does an amazing job with this program. I'm sure the guys are going to be prepared. They've got a familiarity with Morris. You know, they've been coming here for a long time. Um, so if it does give us advantage, I hope so. But, uh, again, I don't know that it will because ultimately whether you're kicking off at noon or at 1 or at 6, you know, the game's the same. Your, your pregame regimen prior to it, it is pretty much the same. So um, we'll see. Hopefully, you know, the atmosphere presented and stuff, you know, we can get off to a fast start and then – and then have that kind of steamroll us and keep going forward here. Well, we're looking forward to the game on Saturday night, Black Jersey's homecoming. Uh, hopefully we can pack the cat and get as many people as we can in there and create a great atmosphere. But uh, 
Good luck this week, and thanks for taking time out of your day to speak with us. Thanks, Coach. Thanks.